How many properties can you juggle without any help as a property manager? Now, I've done lots of research. I've asked a few people I know, and the minimum amount is about 50, and the maximum amount is about 120. Now, there's obviously a lot of factors which... Um, are included in that in order to, to come up with those numbers. Firstly, it's about you as an individual, then it's about the type of landlords you have, then the systems that you have, and the tradesmen that you have. All of those um, factor into whether you have whether you manage 50 or whether you manage 100. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down each one so we can assess if you are the type of person to manage 50 or if you are the type of person to manage 100 or more. So firstly, let's assess you as the person, as the property manager. Um, do you work full time or do you work part time? Um, if you work full time and this is your, you know, your only business, you don't work any any other business or you're not employed, then you could potentially manage, um, you know, 120. But also, what is your lifestyle? Do you have a family? Do you have, you know, hobbies that you participate in a lot? What kind of lifestyle do you want to have? Because obviously, if you're having a 120 20 uh, properties and you know it's just you in the business then you're going to be doing a lot of work it's probably going to be eight hours you're going to be on call 24 hours a day um, you know regardless of if, if you have help or not help but when it comes to property management um, you know that it's very time consuming and um, obviously depending on how much systems you have in place but it can be very time consuming so you know what kind of lifestyle do you lead what kind of lifestyle would you like to lead that will depend on whether you yourself can manage 50 properties or or whether you can manage over a hundred properties. Now, your landlords and your properties determine um, if you're going to be managing 50 properties or over a hundred properties. Now, if it's a very simple portfolio, they're all single let properties. Um, you know, they're just full of families and or just you know single individuals, or even just you know a couple of friends living together. Then you know that is going to be easier to manage than if you were to decide to manage specifically HMO properties. Because if you have you know 50 to 100 HMO properties and you know there's six people in each property my maths is rubbish I'm not going to work it out but you know that it's a lot of people there's a possibility that you're more likely to be able to manage 50 properties uh, by yourself if they were all HMO properties than if you were to manage over you know 100 properties as single lets and then if you're the type of property manager that has a mixed portfolio so you have HMO properties and you have single let properties then you know it's going to be extremely challenging so you may not necessarily be able to manage up to 100 you may be more in the 80 to 70 range and then if you have um you know apartment blocks so let's say there's uh you know six or seven apartments or as we say in london flats in one specific block then you know you may end up getting a little bit involved in block management um you know dealing with the with the leases and you know all those extra things that can take place when you manage a whole entire block then when you're looking at the landlord as well so are you looking after you know a property portfolio of loads and loads of landlords so let's say you have 50 properties and you have i don't know 40 separate landlords then that's a lot of different people that you have to coordinate with you're going to have to speak with in terms of you know asking for uh, money for maintenance um and you know sending them quotes for specific tradesmen whereas if you've got you know two landlords and you've got like 80 properties then clearly you're dealing with some very rich people <laughs> and also it makes communication with just those two landlords so much more easier for you because you will have one-to-one -one connection with them um you know that you understand them specifically how they want their properties to be run and how much involvement they want in you know the management of their properties because obviously when you're a property manager regardless of how you look after the property you still have to communicate with the landlord um, on a consistent basis as to whether you know uh, these specific tenants because they're late paying uh, you know do you want to keep them in a property do you want to evict them out of property um, should we find somebody else should we increase the rent obviously as a property manager you're advising all the time um, your landlords as to you know the best steps to look after their property because they're relying on you that's what you've been hired for but obviously the less landlords you have to deal with then it's easier for you to be able to uh, manage your property, manage your property portfolios, and for you to be able to run your property management management business because you'll get answers a lot quicker um, than if you're having to deal with you know 50, 60 different um, landlords. And if you're dealing with a landlord who 
it's their first time being a landlord, they're going to ask you a lot more questions, a lot more how to's. They're going to want to sometimes depending on, you know, the, the armchair landlord where they literally just give you their property and they don't want anything to do with it. All they want is the money. Then, you know, that will be an easier landlord to deal with than someone who's a, a first time landlord and they're wanting to know exactly how everything works, what everything, you know, what all the di different details, how this works, how that works. You're going to spend a lot more time with them than you are with a new you know a very experienced landlord who's got 50 properties so you know all those things um you have to take into account as to whether you you're going to be juggling 50 properties or over 100 properties now prop tech which is um you know software and technology in the property industry has just grown so much there's so much different apps so much different softwares available for you to be able to manage your uh, property portfolio now in order for you to manage um 50 to, to 100 and above properties by yourself you need to make sure you have the best property management software available there is so many on the market at the moment that you literally can pick and choose which one that you know would be most suitable for your business now the the better quality uh, property management software you have um it comes with all sorts of various automations in it so for example if you've taken on a new tenant um, you know there should be something in the software that will enable them to you know sign their tenancy agreement you're able to communicate with them you're able to um, send them specific documents they're able to respond back to you you're able to send them text messages and emails um, some some systems also incorporate whatsapp I mean you know obviously the property management system you get will depend upon you know your specific budget but um, you know the the, the better the software, the easier it is for you to manage multiple properties. Um, some people can literally just manage their whole entire portfolio by themselves with their specific software on their mobile phone. They could be anywhere, literally anywhere. And so long as they've got their property management software, they can literally have all the telephone numbers and all the email addresses for all of their tenants, all of their tradesmen, all of their landlords, um, insurance companies, council, absolutely everything you need to run your business in this piece of software. You can have it on your mobile, can have it on your laptop, can have it on your iPad, or your tablet um, property management software is absolutely amazing so ensure you have a really good one in order to manage you know even more properties and there are also other um, software which is you know really suitable for property managers in order to you know manage the higher end amount of properties so for example when you have um, lots of maintenance issues I may have mentioned this before in a few of my other videos there's a software called Fixflow. There probably are other ones just like that, but this is the one that I know of called Fixflow, where you give um, tenants a link to this um, specific software and they can um, uh, click on what you know a specific issue they have and you know the software will ask them questions about what the issue is um, it will ask them to upload pictures um, it will ask them to you know ask the tenant to give as much detail as they can about that issue and then it, it will either give them an answer as to how to solve it so if there's like mold in their bathroom it will tell them something like you know wipe the mold make sure you're wearing a covering and use mold remover um, and you know kind of give them small answers as, as to how to solve the issue if it's a large issue like the sink is leaking then it will you know kick the response back to you as a property manager and it will give you all the details um, about what the issue is because obviously the tenant would have uploaded those details and then you can then give all those details to your appropriate tradesman so just make use of all available software that is available out there on the market at the moment make sure your your business is systemized because having a systemized business enables you to um, have all your standard operating procedures enables you to be able to run your business in a efficient manner in case you're not aware, I'm Tanya. I'm a property virtual assistant and online business manager. I work with many different people and many different small business owners, should I say, in the property industry, from property managers to real estate agents um, to mortgage brokers to architects to interior designers, lots of different people within the property industry. And what I do is take care of their back office support to enable them to concentrate on money generating tasks. So as a virtual assistant, 
assistant I take on the tasks that is um, needed by the property manager so they give me all the tasks that they need that they um, need to be done sometimes they're consistent um, you know routine basic tasks uh, sometimes they're a bit more detailed or I can work on small projects to help them to get a bit further along as well as obviously helping them um, with the staff that they have sometimes their staff is overrun with all sorts of different things they need doing and they just need a little bit of extra support sometimes it's short term sometimes it's a long term basis as an online business manager I come a bit more at a strategic level so enable them to um, you know look after their staff and more as a manager look after their staff help them implement implement marketing strategies um, help them get more clients on board help them with all different types of things as more of a kind of a senior manager level so if you're looking for any assistance in your business specifically then please send me an email my name is Tanya Day email address is Tanya at clearviewadministration.co.uk the most crucial point that enables you to be able to look after over 100 properties as opposed to 50 properties is your tradesman your tradesman will be the backbone of your business this will enable you to be able to juggle all these properties uh, by yourself without having to implement lots and lots of other you know start employed staff members so with your tradesmen if you were to have a minimum of like a plumber electrician um a carpenter a handyman um window cleaner um that's not necessarily a tradesman but i know and and the cleaner um those people can literally keep you and your business flowing consistently and you know efficiently now the wonderful thing about having tradesmen is when you have um, reliable friendly uh, fantastic tradesmen when an issue goes wrong um, you can send them along to the property and to speak to the tenant to, for them to fix the issue if they're really good, um, they'll either fix the issue right away because they know your budget, you would have given them a specific budget, or depending on if it's a, you know, a larger project, they'll come back to you with a quote pretty much straight away. You can then give that quote to the landlord, you know, let them know uh, what the amount is and if they're willing to pay, and then you can get the work done straight away or you can negotiate with the tradesman, depending on the relationship that you have with them. But having a good relationship with your tradesman just makes everything so much easier. And also, when you send your tradesman to the property depending on the relationship you have they can sometimes do a little check around the property um, to see how the tenants are keeping the property and they can alert you to any issues that the tenant hasn't made you aware of so if they if the tenant has called you and said there's a leak in the bathroom um, with regards to you know a little small toilet leak the uh, tradesman can go and look in the bathroom to see if there's actually any mold or any other issues I mean to be fair it could be um, beneficial for the tradesman to do that because they could actually get some more work out of it and and you could also get some more work out of it as well because you can then obviously charge the landlord a little bit extra for doing the work as well. So ensure you have a really good relationship with your tradesman because that is just fundamental for your business if you want to manage more than 100 properties. So how many properties can you juggle without any help as a property manager between 50 and 100 or above 100? depending on obviously all the things I spoke about in this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and please watch the next one because it will be just as helpful as this one.